At the Tate Gallery Liverpool, a new exhibition on surreal landscapes by Lenora Carrington and how she experimented with many different art forms has been put on display for the public. The exhibition really concentrates on, on uh, the way that Leonora not only was a painter, but also was interested in investigating different other disciplines. So she worked with theatre, she was quite a well-published author, uh, with short stories, but also poems. Um, she got involved in, in set design, not only for theatre, but for film, for example. And so this, this uh, uh, exuberant way of uh, getting involved in different disciplines and different artistic endeavours is what we wanted to bring here to our public. A retrospective life view by Cathy Wilkes has also been put on display to really connect with deep emotion inside of you. It's really, I mean, she's a fascinating combination of someone whose work is intensely personal and really very kind of introspective and concerned with her own family relationships, her relationship with her parents and her children. And so she's fascinated by these moments in life that are kind of critical turning points, like the birth of a child or sitting next to someone on their deathbed. So these things that are really kind of bound up in your own life, but she's interested in trying to somehow make work that is about that, that can help other people to access those moments as well and reflect on them. So she finds it absolutely fascinating because they were made by children, so it was this cottage industry where children stencil these ceramics, and she's fascinated by the fact that they still exist and they carry so much sort of, uh, they carry the life that kind of went into them in a way, into the present day. Lenora Carrington was like no other person and a very intriguing one to all that knew her. I thought she was very outspoken and very sharp and she observed everything. Nothing slipped her attention. She was very cat-like in her gaze. And she always insisted she painted from what she saw. So even the most of the very fantastical landscapes and inspired by Mexico, the ancient civilizations, the whole idea of an underworld, that for her especially this exhibition was two artists' interpretation on their view of the world.